All right, guys, just to show you that this scan tool is out of date. These Altel scanners, some people say when they're out of date, they're useless. I haven't had that experience. Uh, after mine ran out of updates from when I bought them new, I, uh, for most of them, I didn't update them. My 508, I did update because the updates are only like $200 uh, a year. But as you can see, this one has been out of date since 2022. And I'm going to try it on the Hyundai uh, because the TPMS light is flashing, which indicates an issue with the, either computer or the sensors. So I'm going to try it on that. And let's see what it will do without the updates. Let's see uh, how much do they want for the updates on the scanner, uh, which this is a Maxi Pro 808 TS. <laughs> 225 updates. Uh, I'm going to just hit renew just to see how much they want for the update. It's probably too much. Um, when the updates cost within a couple hundred bucks of the scanner, if I really needed it, I would just buy a new scanner. Um, I hadn't logged into this in so long. Okay, so they want $600 for the update, okay? So uh, let's see how much a uh, three-year-old <laughs> 808 TS costs. They, they've made better scan tools by now. They've upgraded these things. It's, it's not worth updating an old tool when they want that much on a tool that is as limited as this. You know, this this tool can't do any programming like uh, with a pass-through box, like a, a J-Box or anything like that. You know, it's, it's not that level of tool. MP808TS. How much are those selling for? Which I wouldn't buy another one anyway, because the uh, Maxi Pros, these are really not a USA region scanner. And um, when it comes to service and tech support, if you buy a out of region scanner and you have problems with it in a different region, they don't support it. So as you can see for 873, you can get this tool uh, brand new. Like I said, I wouldn't even get it because this is like a European Africa region scanner. They sell these over there. Um, the ones for our regions would be the Maxi Sys, things like that. So uh, $600 for the update or 873 for the whole tool and other people obviously have them cheaper that's just the amazon price i'm sure if you looked around you could find these for probably 800 dollars here's one for 729 so as you can see you can get these scanners for way cheaper so for 130 dollars more you can just get an entirely new scanner. These are the wireless. You know, when I bought this, it was like, you know, a really good scanner. I don't want to renew at that price. Let's see if they let you get any system updates. I don't see any, uh, I don't even see any system updates to this. It's just uh, for newer cars, you know, anything past August, 2022. So I've hadn't had problems with this working for anything 2022 or older. So like on my truck, I know this is not gonna work. It's 2023. People who got 2024s, I know it's not gonna work. But most of the cars that I work on are cars that are out of warranty. So they're not gonna be 2023s and 2024s by the time that happens if i still need this tool i'll buy one you know like four years from now 
you know, then I'll buy one like in 2028 when I know the tool is kind of getting useless and I'm starting to work on a lot of the 2022s, 23s and 24s. That's not going to happen for four years. So I would not and cannot justify spending another 800 bucks on another one of these to use occasionally. I'll just keep using this one. So we'll check it out and see how it works. Uh, like I said, if you're in the United States, do not buy this scanner. When I bought it, I did not know that. I didn't know that uh, Maxi Pros were a non-USA region scanner. I didn't know about the regions, period. But now that I do know that Altel makes scanners for different parts of the world and they only support the ones for that part of the world in that part of the world, then I now buy USA region scanners, okay? So that's the deal. Like the IM508, that's a USA region scanner. The 608, all the, the Maxi Sisses, those are USA region scanners. And you can go on Altel's website to get more information on that. But yeah, the scanner, it's like a $700 scanner that they want a $600 update for. So if you guys are out there into the scanners, I specifically bought this scanner because uh, I wanted to do TPMS stuff. I wanted a scanner that also had uh, TPMS capabilities. So uh, if you, uh, if you, um, if you're looking at an Altel scanner, make sure you buy one that is in the region and buy it from somebody who is an authorized dealer so you can actually have it supported. So maybe you call Altel Technical Support or do your research and buy it from somebody who can either help if they support the tools that they sell, um, like when you buy stuff off the truck or get it from somebody um, who's listed as an authorized retailer. So when you call Altel New York, they can verify that you bought the tool legally from somebody and uh, that they authorize to sell it and then they will give you support on it as long as your subscription is valid. If you're out of subscription like me, the tool is out of warranty. As soon as you buy a new subscription, they say the tool's back in warranty. Um, but if it's this close to the price of a new one, just buy a new one, guys, because they come with two years of updates versus you paying 600 bucks for one year, okay? Okay. I'll sit on my lap. Auto van. Let's do an auto detect. There we go. Picked it up. So, no valid subscription required. Functionality is still working. Okay. Yep. It is. It is connected. Said it had to connect to the internet to obtain some data, but it still worked even though without a subscription. Did whatever it had to do. Uh oh. That didn't work. Are we connected to the network? It should be. So that's probably because it's out of a uh, subscription. It gets this far and then it, uh, all right. So manual selection. This crap. This is a 2012. So that one. There. Oh, it's a, 
Okay. So let me go around and and hit all of these. Let's go. Okay, so got that one. Let's get the next one. Got that one. All right. Back in the car. Okay. So, as you can see, the tool still works. The internet stuff, I don't think it's working because it's probably out of subscription. I don't know. I'm not that far from the access point. So, it should be working. But, yep, yeah, tires 33, 33, 34, 34. Everything's okay. But, when you start the car, the uh, you get the uh, we got the tire light on. Okay, so even though I was able to pick up all the sensors. Um, may have some mismatching going on so and these tires been rotated and stuff people don't uh, relearn the uh, to where the stuff is at so uh, yeah it looks like yeah it looks like tires and rotated and they did not change it so uh, let's see what the DTC is and then I'll do a, a relearn on this transmission match I'll have to take a look at that I believe the bad wiring because like I said, the dogs are under there and they tore up a bunch of stuff. And uh, so I'll definitely be uh, having to take a look at that. But as you can see this tool, it still works even though it's uh, out of service. So let's do a relearn. Okay. 
okay. So, uh, Six seventy-eight. That's what I had. Let's see what it has now. Okay, so we just did an ODB relearn. So basically, went all around and uh, went all around and uh, scanned. You know, with my ODB port down there, I use this guy. And you saw what I did. I triggered all the things. So that the tool could tell the computer this is where the sensors are at and uh, whatnot. And then I did ODB relearn so it can take what I did and put it in the computer so the tires are in the right spots. Okay. But I still have a problem because as you can see, the uh, when you first start the car. lights flashing and then it goes solid which is normally an issue with the uh, TPMS computer itself but more commonly uh, the, the batteries are dying in the sensors but this will tell me if the batteries are dying so uh, take the parking brake off I'll take this thing for a test drive Let's clear, clear DTCs. And I'll turn this off and I'll turn off my tool. And it, that's what it does, that's the sound it makes. This one the VCI is stored back here. Let's drive it around the block for a second. Come back and see if it goes away. Or it's reading from the wrong spots. Which the only way I would have known that was to hook up a, uh, a tool like what I have here to figure that out. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have been able to, to know that. I could have just cleared the codes, but I still wouldn't have known that uh, the guys did not change tires around. So, drive it back home, leave, and uh, 